Dumb left. Dumb left. Left, left pillows and the cobble and all that. Zo, what type of monkey stuff is this, Zo? What type of monkey stuff this Jit playing now? Thought she was dead. Thursday. Thursday. I'm calling the police. Howdy y'all, this is Doug Dealey Duncan from The Duncan Boy. Disclaimer, the following and previous excerpts of Thursday is non-violation of Section 107 of the Copyright Disclaimer 1976, which dictates allowance of media content for fair use purposes such as criticism, comment, scholarship, and research, as the aforementioned programming is not affiliated with the Adams Family Law or the Wednesday Adams Diaspora in any way or form, and any resemblance is purely coincidence. What Thursday is resembled to is the true story which happened in 2022 in Broward County. Thank you for concerns and death threats. And as always, have a dunkalicious day. This is Girls Beat.
my gosh, bro. Uh, she's crazy. Thursday not here. I, I've been looking for her for like five, five, like I've, I've been looking for kids, dude. I've been looking for kids. Kid, kid took all her stuff, kid, kid just left the house. Kid didn't even leave food. Kid, Joe, just these days, bro. Kids be, kids be doing drugs. Kids be taking pictures where they're not supposed to be taking pictures of kid. Uh, just, just be having like, hold on. Just, just be, just be bozzy. Hold on. Before I call the cop though, I gotta tell this snake guy jit right here something. What's good, job? What's good, job? Uh, yo. You keep you call me twenty seven times talking about some. I owe you fifty eight dollars and forty two cents. What's good, job? Keep it down in my house. What's good? Oh, oh, sorry, my man. Yo, job. Yo, I'm gonna tell you, kid. I ain't giving you fifty eight dollars and forty two cents. You vault. You you box, kid. You box for that kid. You green for that kid. Yeah, smelly ass, smelly ass, sunty ass, jit, kid. I ain't giving you fifty eight dollars forty two cents, kid. Stain gadget, man. man if next time you call my phone like that, man, I'm gonna go to you. I'm gonna bop you, kid. My calo. Stain gadget, kid. Breath smelling like pig teeth, kid. Dunk gadget. Green eyed jet. You a booty. Yo, you one of those. Yo, I like calling just this, kid. You a booty. Everyone say you a booty, jet. Dunk gadget. What did I say? Breath smelling like. Oh, sorry, my man. Breath smelling like, breath be smelling like so spot kid. So spot having breath out kid. Jit. All right, back to what I was doing. No, no, no. No, All right, I got it. Hello? Uh, yeah, uh, the address is 1234 Fictional Lane. Yep, Bowery County, yeah, uh, Fort Lauderdale. Uh, hi, yes, I would like to report a missing person. A oh, Wednesday, no, not Wednesday. Uh, Thursday, Jean Baptiste Marcel. Thursday, Jean Baptiste Marcel. I said her name is Thursday, Jean Baptiste Marcel. So, why is the phone not working over there? Put me on hold. What's how a police station puts people on hold? Jig Green out here. Yes. I said Thursday, Jean Baptiste Marcel. Yeah, one, two, three, four, fictional lane. Fort Lauderdale, exit 57. Yeah, I'm, I'm calling to report a missing person. Yeah, uh, she left last night and I was looking for her and she wasn't there. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, she is. She, she's like, she's tall, skinny, dark skin, black hair, brown eyes. Uh, you might see her with like uh, sandals, black jacket, some type of like pink vest, like the vest, like, no, that pink dress, the dress goes like above her thigh a little bit. Uh, and she also is like, she has, uh, she has on like glasses. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and it's like skinny, 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 skinny. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and uh, oh yeah, yeah. The the it's the white slides. Uh, I think it's Jordan, Jordan or Puma. I think it is. Yeah, Jordan. Okay. Okay. Well, thanks. Um, she should be around Broward. I mean, I don't. I don't think she's gonna walk away far from Broward. I mean. Like, where's she gonna go from that point? Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, um, yeah, do what you can. I mean, I'm here. I'm, I'm gonna be looking for her, too. Like, I'm gonna be helping out. Alright, so... 
do do your job. All right, I I, I urge you to do your job. Okay. All right, thank you. I bet that just breast came out so far. You know, why am I still here? Why am I still here, standing in the same spot, talking to myself? When I should be looking out for Thursday, that's what Mama would want me to do. Daddy would probably want me to do the same. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go out there, look for Thursday, and I swear, I swear to God, if someone kidnapped her, I swear to God, when I find out who kidnapped, when I find out who playing around, I'm a bop jet in there too. I'm a bop jet, my jello baby. I'm a bop jet. Put jet in the back, jet. Keep playing with me. From North Miami, jet. Stank out, buzzer that jet. I play with me, Zo. I'm him. I'm Himothy. I am Himothy. I'm Himothias. Buzzer that stank out, jet. Most of, most, most of them jet breasts, they like so small jet. All right, let's go. Kid. That Haitian food be smelling good, kid. That Haitian, that Haitian, that Haitian food be smelling good. So if I was Thursday, Thursday, Jean Baptiste Marcel, I'd probably go to the left. I must have had one of them dreams again, kid. Yo, yo, I must have, yo, yo, how I end up on the couch, kid? How I end up on the couch, kid? Yo, kid. How I end up on the couch, kid?
Oh, yo, yo, how I, yo, how I hit him on the couch, kid. What the? Yo, how I end up on the couch, kid? Yo! Yo, wait, that's crazy! I was actually on the bed. Yo, how I end up on the couch? That's crazy! Yo, <laughs> yo that, that. Wait, come on, Drew and all that. Yo, that. Yo! How I end up on the couch, kid? Oh, I gotta do my taxes real quick, but first, at the same time, I gotta call this dude. I called 911, just never called back. So they ain't doing their job. I don't know what they're doing. They love AK. All right. Yeah, this guy's a detective, they said. Do my taxes, and I'm gonna try to talk to him at the same time. I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but. Oh, wait. Yeah. yeah uh... You won't believe what just happened to me. They just try to sue me in a court of law and they literally try to accuse me of being some type of gang when they know that I'm a double agent. Triple agent, actually. Alpha Red Precinct. You know. Yeah, I talked to Commander Hodgins about it and he said that I'll be fine. So he had me posted in South Carolina, in Columbia. That's where I got me a nice new brown cowboy hat since, you know, crazy police officer decided to break my black one. Yeah, mental problems everywhere. But how's everything? How's your wife? All good? Mm, that's good. So, uh, you know, everything's going all dandy. I ain't in the peach state, but it's almost like home. But, um, if you want, like, all sand Cuban food, I can hook you up. Oh, oh hold on. I'm getting a call. Yes, sir. Hi, uh, this is... Uh, Debbie Marshall, Douglas Duncan. How may I serve you, sir? Uh, yes, sir. I'm calling to file a report. Hey, you say what now? Uh, I'm calling for a missing sister. Missing sister? Hmm. So you want to file a missing police report? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, missing report. Okay. Can you describe the missing person to me? Uh, she bone skinny like chicken cutlet, um, medium size, black female, black hair. I think she has like some white slides. All right, sir, take your time, take your time. I'm I'm not from that part of the world where y'all just talk fast now. Oh, my bad, man. Uh, she's medium size, white shoes, black female, oval face, and she probably has the mallet, I mean, the suitcase, sorry. Uh, you, you detective, right? Uh, yeah. I'm a deputy marshal, but I also do detective work on the side. My heroes buy lock phones, and I'm also a double agent. And don't tell no one I done told you that. Or else, you'll be found by me. No, nah, I'm just messing around. But, yeah, describe it to me. I just, I just told you. You writing it down? I'm taking mental note. I'm taking mental note. Yeah, don't worry. I don't need a piece of paper. Okay, you got that librarian memory, though. So. Alright, just make sure you got it, alright? Yeah. Okay. That's all good. Um, what's the address? 1234 Fictional Lane, Northeast Barlock Street. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. See what I can do for you, sir. I'll have you know I'm one of the best marshals in the South. Yeah, you sound like it. You from North Florida or something? I'm not actually from Florida. I'm from Alpharetta. Where's that? It's in Georgia. Oh, that that Steve Harvey State. Yeah. Yeah, lots of peaches there. Peach State. Peach State of the nation. <laughs> they actually had me posted in uh, Columbia, South Carolina. That's where I got me a new cowboy hat, don't you know? <laughs> so what? I don't know, it's not the best time to bring up my cowboy hat, but, you know, uh, I like it. You know, it's brown and it looks like a Mexican cowboy hat, and, yeah, cowboy hats have done a lot of people a lot of good. Uh, okay, yeah, all right, uh, can we get back to my sister? Yeah, but about that case, though, 
You don't tell nobody that I'm part of no precinct now. Nobody ain't supposed to know about that, but I'm telling you because you sound like a friendly. Kid talking about a cowboy hat. Uh, yeah, it's all good, boss. Uh, I don't, I don't gotta tell nobody Nathan. I ain't telling them Nathan. Just find her. Well, I'll see what I can do about that, sir. I hope your sister is found, and I do wish you the best of luck. But um, these things take time. These things take a lot of time. We don't just do these things in one second. We ain't superheroes yet. And when I get back to where I gotta go, I gotta deal with the whole mafia. A whole mafia of Duncans, especially a drunk one. Really? Drunk kid causing grimace in a small town, boss man? He thinks he's from Atlanta. Hmm, he ain't. Alpharetta, purebred Alpharetta. Oh, yes sir, yes sir. You always work up in Alpharetta? He used to actually work up in Macon. Actually down in Macon. Yeah, Macon's a little bit more downward. Um, Okay, was he like your other family though? No, sir. He was one of a kind. He, I went to military school and that's where I got my code of conduct. And he did not go to military school. Let's just leave it at that. But uh, is there anything else I can help you with? Nah, we straight, G. He's just missing one person or two people? Uh, one. Just one person. You only have one sister. Yes, sir. It's a good thing. I was testing your memory there. Now, I need you to do something for me, Clarence. I need you to do something very important now. I need you to stay strong for me. These things do take time. Hey, so you. I'm going to... I'm, I'm going to... Oh. What? Uh, hello? Hello? Oh, I'm putting, putting my taxes away. Yo, hello? 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 Yo! Yo, jet phone cut. Yo, jet. Jet phone cut off. Jet lave. Get lave, yo. Jet phone cut off. How you a detective and you got your phone cut off? Jet greens, oh. My bop, jet. Put jet in the back. When I, when I see jet, I'm like, stand up. Stand up. Keep on. Keep on. And jet gonna be next to me. I'm like, keep on. Keep on. Why you looking back? Keep on. Never had jet. <laughs> I be mutton it, though. I be mutton it, though. Come on. Do that. Bop you. Bop you in the nose, kid. Come on. Why are you looking at me? Look that way, kid. Do my magic. <laughs> Green magic. I don't know what to do now. I mean, I guess I can play my sermon. That's going to help me give me motivation. It's a fine Thursday. Let me find my, my pastor sermon real quick. This guy always knows what to say. All right. All right. This this jet always know what to say. Mm. Oh, what's going on, everybody? Coming from the Free Road Baptist Church located in Atlanta, Georgia. Hmm. Hey, have a quick play one. Are you sad? That's the devil in you. Are you mad? Devil. Are you here, piano keys? And I'm missing out a strange Creole cat from the south. Messing your chakra up. Oh, child, you got your hands up. That's I'm right, so that's that job. But listen here for all those with the devil in you. Mm. I'm here to deliver the real. Mm. I know who's doing it too. On the tattoos, on the veins, and they, man! Stop playing church! Stop playing with that leg, Lee Zo! Stop playing with that leg, Lee! Even if it's this Thursday or this Wednesday, 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you say what? Thursday. I'm not gonna lie, this man teaching always be so personal. He could have said Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Well, he said Wednesday, but he could have said Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Jit said Thursday. Jit, what? Yeah. Uh, I don't even know what to do now. Violence. Alpha Rider Precinct. Really? Yes. Yeah, I didn't fix it. What is this? You got here with you. It's an insure bottle. What you think it oh, is? Oh, you dropped it on the floor. It's littering. It startled me. And who are, who are you? Who am I? Yeah, what do you do? You know who I am. I don't know who you are. Aren't you the same security officer I took to court? Maybe. But mm. hey, don't worry about that one. Oh, no, no, that's a good thing because my precinct in Alpharetta sent me up to South Carolina protesting because of your antics. You should consider your actions, sir. What does that got to do with you? Uh, you're attacking my brother, who's in a prison, by the way, a federal prison. A federal prison, which I'm happy about, but still. You know what you mind, man? He's both, it's a win-win situation. He's right now. supposed to be rehabilitated in an alcohol administration in Georgia, of all places. Really? Section 104. It's just the way it works, sir. Now, give me a reason to take my fingers off this trigger here. I come in peace. Are you sure about that? Yes. Your friend Mr. Bat says otherwise. So? I don't even know why I have it right now. See? It's on the ground. Precautions. Mm. It's just precautions. Mm. Now anyways, I don't really have much time for this. Mm. I am working a case, a serious case. Young man just lost his sister. Young man lost his sister. So that's why it is by precaution to inform you. Have you seen a somewhat skinny black female with uh, puffy hair, uh, long slender figure, um, white white shoes, uh, something of that, something of that. Man. I have. You have. I met her like a few minutes ago. Oh, have you now? Yes. So you point me in that direction. I don't know. So you are you are refusing to give essential information to a deputy marshal? No. I don't. Th I don't think. Uh, I'm. Um, me to give you that information, you have to actually be, you know, legit. I showed you my paperwork. Uh, you didn't show me your paperwork. So I just showed you my paperwork. I just showed you my paperwork. And that badge don't look real. Oh, the badge is real. Really? That badge is me. But you're telling me someone like you has the time to be on a, someone a like vehicle me. on a phone? Somebody, what would you mean, boy? But if a badge should be down, then what you do is gonna reflect. So I wouldn't really do that. Oh yeah, ever heard of probable cause? There is no cause. I have probable cause in a few minutes. By the way, you're standing. I work I'm in almost- I'm standing really innocently. Okay then, you're standing in a defensive position, sir. I How just defensive? Gotta tell you. This is really not defensive. Arms crossed is the most defensive position in this planet. <laughs> you might think it's funny, but I do not. Where am I defending? Defending yourself. How? My hands are really crossed. What, what facility you put my brother in? Can't tell you that information. Yes, you can. You should know. And yes, you should. Idea. But no, should not tell you. They don't tell me anything. I'm not. Familiar. I know you're not supposed to. You're not supposed to know that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Did I forget? I, I forgot to tell you. I have power in all 50 states. 
And what are you again? A security guard. Mm, oh, that means you only work in Miami Dade County. Hmm. That's tough, buddy. But anyways, enough about me, enough about you. Let's get to the girl. Have you seen this gal? You know, tall, black, skinny. You're the only girl to see that. I told you, I've seen the girls. Okay, now where is she? I tell you, man. Okay, now listen, all right, we're gonna stop playing this game now because this is getting serious. There is a young man at home in Broward County looking for his sister. Where's her those in Miami Dade? Yeah, 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 but, but like, she came over here. But like, you know that, right? Now she's in this county, now she's in this jurisdiction. So we gotta return this young lady back to her brother. Well, so I tell you, I don't really work in Miami Dade. Where you work? Can I tell you that information? Well, if you don't work in Miami Dade, they'll serve you just like me. Hmm. Not really, like we're me. not the same. I don't, uh, have my, I don't have my gun. I don't have my hand on the trigger right now. Because just, I'm so scared of a defenseless man. Ah, ah. What did I say about that? Absolutely nothing. Now back to the girl. So. I'll tell you that, man. Yeah, what? I'll tell you that, man. Okay, yeah. You leaving the crime scene, huh? Okay. Really? I can file a report on this. Now. You do that. Have a nice day, man. Bye. I want you to be back. Who the hell are you? Oh yeah. You're that, you're that um, girl that that ugly boy was looking for. Good boy. I don't know. Some dude that works in the freaking, he's like, I don't know, law, law enforcement or whatever. Shot me. Why are you looking for me? Because I heard something about something about something about you, and apparently someone's missing. Like I could go. Oh, uh, I'm not really missing. I just ran away from home. I don't think they're talking about you. What's their name? Tell you I don't name. remember. I don't care. Well, I'm Thursday. Nice to meet you. Ew. Ugly name for a person. <laughs> Whoever your parents were, you're definitely drunk. Uh, anyways, was not nice talking to you. Security, that rude. Burning for this kid, man. Get inside, kid. Why? Oh, kid, get inside, kid. You you been gone for like almost twenty four hours, kid. I've been gone for like two weeks. Oh yeah, you got me gone for. That's even worse, kid. Yeah, all them bugging inside. Dragonflies. In the I don't room. understand why you were looking for me for. Really? Gone. Y'all should be independent. First of all, aren't you, aren't you underage? You're 16. You ain't supposed to be running away for two weeks. And if you even eat or anything, two weeks, what you eat? Um, you probably ate like, you probably like went into dumpster. I ate outside food. You ate outside food? Well, we have food at home. Oh, you have arrived. But, um, nah, she went to work. But listen, I, I have something to tell you. Oh my, oh, look, child tree right there which first of all christmas is done why we still have the tree up but that's one thing but another thing is the tree's moving by itself now right. now you see what i was talking about you thought i was crazy 
this house is haunted because I, I just did some research on this house. They said that in 1944, this guy came in, he was from Louisiana, and he moved back to Louisiana in 1975. And our dad, daddy, you remember like when daddy used to tell us about that Cajun dude, right? Mm -hmm. Yo, Jit went over there to like Baton Rouge. Jit, daddy had no business in Baton Rouge. He went to Baton Rouge anyway. And then, uh, I heard him. I saw him. I you saw, saw a man? I saw a man at the window. I was sitting in the bed, and I literally saw a man. Yo, dude, eyes wide open, dude. Look through the window like this. I was like, Jit, what? Yo, I ran out that, yo, kid, I ran out the house. I called 911, I called 999, I called 411, I called all them Jits. No, no, no one picked up. I ran the scooter. I was looking for you, but I ran on the scooter. I kept falling. I was like, I was sleeping, and then like this, this is what happened when I was sleeping. I, I was sleeping because this, this is how I know this happened to me. I looked on the security camera, and I was doing this. <laughs> it's like Jit, what? It's like Jit, yo. And it's like it's not even that. It's like I was on the bed, right? You know, like, I go to sleep on the bed. You're supposed to stay in the bed, right? Mm -hmm. And I stopped sleepwalking when I was like 10. Mm -hmm. Yo, I woke up on the couch. I was like, yo. <laughs> so, and it's like, this is what I did. I found my little program, right? It's like this, this, um, this, like this one, this black American preacher, right? Mm -hmm. I was like, yo. This I, think we, yeah, I think we need to get a pastor in here. Yeah, it's like, here's the thing. That pastor... He's actually on tour in our area. He's on tour. So it's like, I had to call this man and he said, yeah, he's coming soon. And it's like, all right, he's on his way. He said there's, there's traffic, but he's on his way. Okay. So but what I have to do right now, I got to get out of this house. You do not mess with exorcism, whatever that's called, Zoe. You do not mess with that. Where my jacket at? Uh, oh, that's probably work. Oh, that is work. All right, I gotta get up out of this house. All right, I'll see you Thursday. <laughs> okay. The tree, the like, moving, piano playing on its own. Uh, yeah, so yeah. By the heavens of Moses, I feel the spirit of the devil in this house and I feel him close to me. What is this nonsense? This is ever since they let those kids use Tic Tac. Or whatever they call it. Anyways, how may I help you tonight, man? I just told you, I've been hearing like different spirits, you know, and been seeing like the tree move by itself, piano we playing. And I left this house for literally like, like a few weeks and my brother was here alone. Mm. And he'd been hearing the same things. But when I was here, it was only me. He ain't see anything or hear anything. So, you believe you're possessed? No, because my brother experienced it too, so I'm not. So there's obviously a spirit of third dimensional existence in this house. That's what you mean? Yeah. I I've even seen it. And you've seen it. So what should we do now? Cause I'm getting ready for a fight. You need a pastor. Mm. This is what we do up here. I I passed her at that one church up in Bunkhead, Bunkhead, Atlanta. And what we usually do is, first of all, we have to fix up this airspace so that we can see what's going on. Sometimes the demon trying to trick you, trick trick. It's a trickery. 
The devil's about trickery. But first, while I'm doing that, tell me more about this spirit. What do he look like? What she look like? Whatever they look like. I haven't like. seen his face, but I know he's like all black. Ooh. We are getting ready for a fight tonight. You can move that if you want to. Move it over there. Oh. I thought this was like something that has something to do with it. Or something like that. What are you doing? I'm getting a vision. Oh, I feel presence. That is not godly. I feel presence. How long have you been experiencing this? Uh, a few weeks ago. But mm. then I left it and it didn't come back to me. I think it's just this house, honestly. You think it's this house only? Mm -hmm. I went to other people's houses while I was, I go, I was gone. And I didn't experience this. Oh, let me tell you something real quick. The churches in this neighborhood is messed up. Because that's probably why these things are happening. They smoking weed. They smoking weed at the church. And they take black males and they teach them farming techniques and they get all the little kids. But anyways, I, maybe I'll tell that another time. But uh, I feel the presence of this demon festering its spiritualities all across this house. And my God, I can't stand it anymore. So we are gonna pray and we are gonna uh, we gonna uh, we gonna ex ex evacuate. Ex and that's what you're gonna do. I will be over here. Okay, okay. B close your close your eyes, and I'll take care of the rest. Father God, we gonna go to war today. Father God, we gonna go to war today. Father God, send us the army of Moses and Joseph. We gonna go to war today. We got our spirit in this house, Lord, and we gonna defeat it. It's gonna die. It's gonna burn in hell. So please help us out, Lord. Because I came here all the way from the rat holes of Bunkhead, Atlanta, Georgia. And I would just so happen to be in the area. And I heard someone's voice on the phone. It wasn't this young lady's voice. It was a man's voice. I assume it must have been brother or whatever he was. He called for his sister. And he called for a miracle to be performed today in this house, Lord. I came from Atlanta, Georgia, Lord. I came from Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, I'm about to fight tonight, Lord. We're going to go to war. We're going to go to war strong. And we're going to win. It's going to look at like the Battle of Waterloo, Lord. Where we are the British Army, Lord. And the demon is Napoleon Bonaparte. And we gonna kill a spirit today. So help me God. Amen. And I call upon the, oh! Lord. Ah! the demon of hell. Stop! Oh! Stay down. I rebuke oh! you. I rebuke you. This ain't no Bible. Think you got cheeks, gave me a weapon. You got that to me. Think you got cheeks, you idiot. No, no. I pray upon thee. I pray upon thee. Clap sheets or deacon, deacon no brainer gave me a weapon to catch my master at the power of Moses. <laughs> for 40 days, <laughs> for 40 nights, for 40 days, for 3 days on the cross, I'm the Lord of Witness. You fall, you fall. <laughs>
Yeah! <laughs> Yo, Stefan, that crazy, bro. Yo, yeah, I, I see you almost broke the arm, bro. Bugging out. Yeah, that's a good one for you. <laughs> but like, Yo. from what the, she dead now. Ain't that the same broad where we came over here pretending to be homeless people? That's the same broad. That's the same broad right there. <laughs> so I'm right. You see, now we own this property. Now we can sell this property. We millionaires now. We already millionaires. We billionaires. Yeah, we that. Now we trillionaires. Yeah, Cause we smart like that. We smart like that, dude. Want to take her out now? Uh, the house. Uh, yeah, we gotta hide the body because I know, I know that next door neighbor over here called the cops already. They already called five. We gotta get this body out of here. And next day we're gonna take the plane to Brooklyn. Uh, are uh, you? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, let me get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dog, that southern accent I had to put on, dog. I tell you, never again. Let me see, Tommy. Yo, 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 I'm back, back is it, I'm about to get at work, get talking to you at work, why are you talking to you at work, I'm about to get at work, kid love it at work, kid, kid cut my salary, Thursday, you remember that one boss, uh, Mr. Stanton, kid cut my salary, yo Thursday, where you at, kid cut my, whoa, Kai looking green mops, kid. I'm not gonna lie. Why Kai looking green mops, kid? Yo, Thursday, where you at? Go over here. Why are these stains all over here? They smell like Atlanta. They smell like legit Atlanta. Oh, someone called my phone. Hello, bonsoir. Reporting to the series of missing people, and I'm trying to say, I'm trying to tell you and inform you that your sister is dead. Uh, I'm sorry, Jit. What? My name is Ajit. It's Elizabeth Officer 93. Your sister is dead. Uh, no, but like, that can be that. Huh? Who parle que your femme? Who parle que your friend? Neither do I. Okay, but well, what you say? I was informed that you speak a foreign language. So I, they told me to say, I don't know what that is, okay? But it's just that, now, move around, please. I have other things to do. Nah, a Thursday, that's one of Thursday friends. Because she was just here. Nah. Uh, yo, yo, Thursday. Uh. Wait, no, but she was, the, her shoes though. Uh, 
I mean, she, she was here, right? Like, <coughs> Thursday. Thursday. That's blood, kid. It's be crazy out here. J oh no. Ah, oh, it, it was those. Oh no, this was a Stefan and Andre thing. The two most wanted criminals in like the East Coast. Oh, I should have saw this coming. Hello, Pity. That's why I told Thursday not to mess with that spirituality zone. I'll call my mom. Well, though, that's why I told her, don't mess with that spirituality, man. I told her that. I told her. I told her. I tried to warn her. I told her. But she, some some people don't listen, man. Some people don't listen. I got to make a phone call now. I got to make a phone call now, G.